ease. All right, shalom. We are Israel united in Christ, and we are here to teach you so-called Puerto Ricans that you are the Israelites according to the Bible. And you so-called Negroes. All you Puerto Ricans come from the tribe of Ephraim according to the Bible. It is high time that you wake up out of your sleep. Give me Romans chapter 8 and verse 16. Give me the book of Romans chapter 8 and verse 16. You are not Hispanic. You are not Puerto Rican. You are not Mexican. You are not black. You are the Israelites according to the Bible. You will remain slaves in the Americas. You will remain slaves in Puerto Rico for breaking God's commandments. Read what you got. This is the book of Romans chapter 8 and verse 16. This spirit is so. Bear witness with our spirit. The spirit is talking about this holy Bible. This Bible bear witness with our spirit. Read that we are the children of God. And what? That we are the children of God. That is what we are here to teach you Hispanics. That's what we are here to teach you Puerto Ricans. That you are the children of God. Give me verse 11. Verse 11. But if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit that dwelleth in you. And that's what we are here for, to quicken your spirit. How do we quicken your spirit? Give me John 6 and 63. Give me the book of St. John chapter 6, verse 63. All you so-called Puerto Ricans, you take pride in the Puerto Rican flag. That is not your flag. That is the flag of your slave master. That's Conqueror. Christopher Columbus conquered you and enslaved you in the island of Puerto Rico. This is the book of hell, chapter 6 and verse 63. And it is the spirit that quickeneth the flesh profiteth nothing. Slow down, read it again. It is the spirit that quickened it. So the Bible says it is the spirit. What spirit? The spirit of the Holy Ghost. The spirit of God. This Bible. These words. Read. The flesh profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you. The words that I speak unto you. They are spirit and they are life. So we got a question out here for all of you so-called Puerto Ricans. Because we know majority of you are Catholic. Bring it out. Yeah, majority of you are Catholic out here. That's majority right. of you are Christians. God said, yeah. if you, read that part again. Come on. The word that I speak unto you, they are, they are spirit and they are life. So where in the Bible does Jesus Christ, does it write that Jesus Christ is a right man? Where in the Bible does it say to call your Pope the Heavenly Father? Call yeah. him Father. Where in the Holy Bible does it say to worship Mother Mary? Where in the Holy Bible does it say worship Mother Teresa? Where in the Holy Bible does it talk about Guadalupe? Where? It doesn't say it. Saint Maria. It's not there. A lot of you are in the midst of idolatry. Give me that Habakkuk. What you got? Give me Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 18. A lot of us are in idolatry. Jesus Christ is not a white man. God came for the only came for the Israelites, which are the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. And we dare any of you to come up and contest us. Challenge us. See what we're saying is true. Or maybe you can prove that we false. Come on. This is the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2 and verse, verse 18. What profit is the baby image? So the Bible says. What profit is the graven image? And my friend with the brown hat. And my friend with the black shirt and the brown hat talking to his other brother in the black shirt. The Bible says, what profit is the graven image? What about you, sis? You mind coming up here? Can I ask you a question? You. You with the brown hair. That's your girlfriend. Can I ask you a question? What about you? Read it again. What profit is the graven image that the maker thereof has graven it? So the Bible says, what profit is a graven image that the maker thereof that have graven it? What graven images do the so-called Puerto Ricans wear today? They wear the cross. They wear the white Jesus emblem. Some of y'all wear uh, Santa Maria, the Virgin Mary. The Bible says, what profit is the graven image? Hey, big brother. Big brother with the trades. Big brother with the trades. You good, man? What's your name? You say you just tell me what about you right here with the pillars. Pillars, honey. Come holler at me, bro. 
No, I'm, not, I'm asking you. I said, come on. If it's all right, you good? Can I ask you a question? You believe in God? You believe in God? Let me ask you this. Is this, who is this? Who is this? Oh, you ain't got nothing to say. But you believe in God, though. Yeah. You know what's funny? Give me that. Isaiah chapter 29. Hey, how you doing, mama? You speak English? You, you, say it again. Okay. Okay, let me ask you a question. You believe in Jesus? You believe in Jesus? Habla Espanol? I mean, habla English? You believe in Jesus, right? Let me ask you a question. Is this Jesus? Is that how Jesus looked? Huh? Say, do I like it? It looked like it looked like Jesus. Can we read that in the Bible? What you think, brother? Is that Jesus? He said he's everybody. He's everybody. As long as you love Jesus, it can be any kind of. Color. So he could be any color. Yeah, any oh, color. Really? Any color. Yeah. Okay. Let's find out. You mind if I read a scripture to you? What's that right there on your neck? Yeah. What's that? Uh, San Lazaro. San Lazaro. What's that? It, it, it's something that us Puerto Rican we believe in. Okay. What is it? What's, what's it mean? It means that uh, we we love him. You love who? Love him? Yeah, because he loves dogs. He's got little dogs right there. And then he got little dogs and everything. Is it? Is that? Is this like a, a religion or something? No. What it's is just it? love. Like a, a fable. Yeah. Let me get that. Titus chapter one. Give me Titus one and fourteen. Yeah. Let me show you something. What's your name, brother? Aniwa. 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 I'm Judah. Nice to meet you, man. Let me show you something. Give me Titus chapter one, verse fourteen. I'm gonna show you something, brother. Book of Titus chapter 1 and verse 14. Yeah. Not giving heed to Jewish fables. You know what a Jewish fable is, brother? Bring it up. You know what a fable is? Let's start there. What's a fable? No, I'm, I'm asking, I'm just asking a question. Because you believe in God, right? You believe in Jesus? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we want to talk what Jesus taught us, right? Let's talk about that. Because if you're my neighbor, are you my neighbor? You my brother. We brothers, right? Right? Christ Christ teaches us to love our neighbors as we love ourselves, right? So as you being my neighbor, I would like to explain something to you through the scriptures so that way we stay on the same page and we express that love for one another. Because there may be things that you don't know that you may have, you don't know ignorantly, but you could do better afterwards, right? That's okay. That's why we out here. That's okay. So Okay, you said you love what we teach? All right, watch this. Stay right here. Give me a few seconds, all right? Not giving heed to Jewish fables and commandments of men that turn from the truth. So the Bible says that we, as brothers, as neighbors, should not give heed to Jewish fables, nor turn to other different doctrines or traditions of men. Where does that tradition come from? Uh, from Puerto Rico? What's the, what's the, uh, the history on it? Was it based on a true story or just some kind of fair, some tale? You believe that he gave you power. Okay, so let me show you what the Bible says about that. Finish that. That's it. This trans. Not giving ye to Jewish fables and commandments of men that turn truth, that turn from the truth, and turn from the truth. So give me a back, let's go back to Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 18. Because you said you believe it gives you power. Where are we supposed to get our power from? You say from ourselves? Okay, we're going to find out about it. We're going to find out. Give me that, and then I want 2 Timothy 1 and 7, I believe. This is the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2 and verse 18. What profit the graven image? What profit the graven image? So the Bible says, brother, uh, I'm sorry, what was your name again? Aniwa. The Bible says, what profited the graven image? Now, you believe that that image gives you power. The Bible is going to explain to you that it actually doesn't, right? It, I, one second, give me one second. I want to show you something. Because you said it comes from Puerto Rico, right? Right. And But this is what you understand. But you Puerto Ricans also believe in God, right? You believe in Christ. So this is what Christ teaches us as believers in Christ. You understand? Because is there one God or is there many gods? Okay. 
You say there's one God for everybody. Let's think, let's not deal with the everybody part just yet. But there's one God or many gods. Is there one or is there many? There's one God for all of us. Okay, so it's just one God, right? One God. One so, God. so then that means there's only one power, right? That's right. So how can you get a power if there's only one source for power? How can you go get it from someplace Bring else? It out. Does that make sense? If electricity gives you power, could you go get power from, I don't know, the trees or something like that? No, right? That don't, it doesn't make sense. So watch this. Let's see what the power says. Read it again. What profit the very image that the maker thereof had graven it? Because in Puerto Rico, they engraving that image. And then what comes behind it? The molten image. That's a molten image. Somebody had to carve that out and molt it. Take that metal or whatever it is made of and melt it into something to create that specific image. Right. Read. And a teacher of love. So what? And a teacher of love. Because you know that has nothing to do with God. No. So it teaches teaching you something. There's a doctrine behind it. There's a philosophy behind it. One second, brother. Let's say, hey, just come over here, man. Just come over here. You see what's given at Isaiah chapter 29, verse 13. Give me the book of Isaiah chapter 29 and verse 13. Because we love to come out here for parades. We love to get drunk. We love to dress provocative. We love to do whatever it is that we want to do. But as soon as we get shot down in the streets, everybody want to cry out to God. As soon as your children are missing, grandparents are missing, we want to cry out to God. And every year there's a shooting and a murder that goes on after this parade. Your power and your strength are in the wrong things, you so-called Puerto Ricans. Read that. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 29, and verse, verse 13. Therefore, the Lord said, For as much as the people draw near me with their mouth, all you Hispanics draw near me with God with your lips. All you need to do is give lip service. And with their lips, do honor me, uh -huh. but have removed their heart far from me. We quit to say we love God, we love Jesus, we love the Holy Ghost, but your hearts are torn from God. That's you right. got the prophets out here trying to bring you back to your rightfully heavenly father, but you want to sit here and get drunk That's and right. shake booty and watch a parade and wave a flag what? with your whole press on. And then fear toward me and stop my precept. Amen. The fear towards God was taught by Christopher Columbus. The fear towards God was taught by the Spanish. The fear towards God was taught by your slave master. And now you bring it in high esteem. Now you lift yourselves up in high esteem. That's what right. happened to the Puerto Ricans when Christopher Columbus came? Give me Lamentations, chapter 5, and verse 1. Bring it out! Speak truth! Jehu. Which one of you out here want to deal with truth? Which one of you out here are tired of your people being cut down? Right. Which one of you are tired of being oppressed? And Nation is men leading by example.